Ow. Fudge, six D diesels. So on today's, what quality will it start? We've got one of these. So this is a Chevrolet Corvette. Corvette. So it's 1980-81 Chevrolet Corvette. She's been not used since 2015, 2016, we reckon. Um, long to a local fella, Twas his pride and joy. Um, that week he got ill and then he passed away and the car was sat in a garage until a couple of weeks ago. They, someone did wash it to sell it, didn't they? But apart from that, it has not been touched. So it's 350. It's a 350. So that's a 5.7 cubic inch mm -hmm. um, V8 with an automatic transmission. And it is also very orange. She's a thing of beauty. She's a thing of beauty. So what we need to attend to, it came with a very impressive spares kit, which is sat there. We shall show you that in a minute. We have got every bit you would ever need to make this work. Um, so it hasn't been started for years. We know the fuel pump has been removed because that's here and it's not bolted in there. But we do appear to have, there's a new one of them in the spares kit. Lovely. So what we need to attend to is we're going to bring you lot in here underneath the big... Ooh, very orange lifty lid and I'm going to show you what we need to, to do in here to make it work bears we have a Corvette C3 fixie books one of one is a Haynes comic um, the other one restoration one that could be useful um, we've got all sorts of parts one of which is going to be immensely useful is a Holly carburetor overhaul kit that we hopefully fix that um, we seem to have a brand new Mallory distributor that we may need or we may not. Um, there's a headlight poppy thingy, thingy jigs, which we probably aren't going to need for a while. But one useful thing we do have in this basket is a brand new fuel pump. So, and obviously some a selection one slightly used uh, Elbrook dustbin lid air filter, and then just here because that one looks a bit manky. We've got another one that looks much shinier. So basically, what we have here is a 5.7 small block Chevy, isn't it? That's correct. One would assume. We've got tubular headers. Yep. We've got an aluminium push intake manifold of some description. Yep, torker. Torker, torker manifold. That is definitely a Holly large yep. Holly carburetor. Four barrel. Four barrel Holly carburetor. Um, Electromagnetical distributor and some bright yellow racing leads for extra power. Mm -hmm. And we have got the chrome to get you home alternator, but the chrome seems to have come off of it a bit. Yeah. We'll not worry about that. So the grand and cunning plan we have, the coolant pipes are off. Um, so we, hopefully she's a dry of the coolant or has been stored dry of coolant. So we need to get in here, socket, see if she turns over. Um, I'm going to attempt to see, one, what the fuel tank smells like. Yeah. Because that's probably going to be bad after 10 years, isn't it? 10 years, 2016. Yeah. 10 years, 15, 16, thing. 10 years. Um, and then we're going to need to get a battery in it, because the old one is definitely dead as a dodo. And we'll do some fire testing on some electricals. Yep. See if she cranks over. And we need to attend to fuel, sparks and then compression oils and oil, pr oil pressure. So, oh, I've got the dipstick. The dipstick has oil on it and it is clean. It doesn't smell terribly fuely. So I think, Fudge, turning on the crankshaft, mm -hmm. make sure she does the rotationals. Yep. And we go from there, I think. Rotations, compressions, turnage, fuel, fire. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. And then hopefully we've got the necessary oil pressures and the bits bobs because we know very little about this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. let's do it. What we have done is we have put some wingtop protection on. Now, we'd like to point out we have got some magnetic wingtop protection things, but they ain't much use on a plastic car, and they just fall off. So we have found these nice, um, I think they're like furniture restorers, movers, blankets that I found in a dead van the other day. So that'll do, save... 
the bellies scratching the car. Mm, and the belts and the zips. Now, do you reckon I'm easy in getting at that crank pulley or you? I think oh, I've got... closer a... to your side there. Do you want to try and pass? If I spin that round so you've got the fan edge, I know the big I... edge gap there. Yeah, no, that's all right. So, ooh, hang on, wrong way. Let's go this way. Ooh. Oh, blimey, it's got some compression. Ooh. Jeez, it has got some compression. <coughs> it smells stale fuel already. I think that's just generally wafting out of it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's a revolution. I'm now undoing the crank nut. <laughs> Oh, blimey, that's got some compression. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. No. I suppose a Corvette would have been eye compression, would it? I don't know. Oh. Well, it's definitely turning. Hundred and twenty-five percent turning. Oh. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear the compression. I can feel the compression. <laughs> well, that moves. The question is, as we have a Holly carburetor overall kit, yeah. do we pull the carb or do we just say what happens and then do the carb later? I suppose if we see what happens... I think the most sensible thing to do now is we'll find a battery, yeah. install that... Mm -hmm. Cranky, cranky. Yeah, checks your cranks. Make sure we've got pressures. And see if we've got an oil pressure gauge. Um, hopefully there's not on any fuel in it, so it's not going to attempt to fire. Um, but it wouldn't definitely wouldn't hurt to turn it over. Yeah, I mean, there's n the fuel pump's not connected anyway. Well, there's the fuel pump's so there. The fuel pump is, um, is remote. He's, he's, over there. <laughs> he's over there. And, um, oh, yeah, no linkage. Linkage? Pipage. Pipage. Pipe, no, there's no pipes. Pipe linkage. I mean, everything is free because I did have a bit of a luby on this yesterday when it turned up. So we've got a choke, electronic choke, haven't we? And obviously your secondaries, I'm assuming, are vacuum operated on this, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, because yeah. you've got two, basically. Yeah. Those are your float chambers either side, aren't they? Yeah. So we must have a link over pipe going through. Yes, we do. So that's main fuel in. And then we're going to... So I think the next thing to do is to chuck a battery in it. I mean, we've got, we've got oil, we're about halfway up the stick. Yeah, I think that's good enough that's for a minute. Enough. Before we fire it, we'll top it up. Because um, obviously we really want to run it, warm it and drop the oil. <coughs> um, that's assuming that obviously we can get it to go. We know this gearbox, um, to use a vice grips, the blood stick has got stuff on it. Yep. So we are assuming that that is good and that's all right to fire up because it's got fluid. Um, we're going to need to probably opt the distributor cap off of it and at some point we're going to have to attend to cleaning the huge or cleaning the basically where they've taken the pipes oh, off yeah. to drop the coolant years ago. Well, we've got a Jubilee clip in there as well. No, we haven't. Was one, it not? No, no, that's one of those spring pipe, oh, you know, okay. the Americans have them to stop the pipes collapsing. Um, so we, someone very sensibly has dropped basically the coolant out of it when they parked it. Um, but that hasn't stopped the, not that it's a worry, we're going to have to clean on these. We've got a bit of goo. There is something left in it. Not a lot. No, it's just a... That's coming out of the radiator, not out... Oh, shut up, man. Right. Battery. Let's try battery. You know from watching Vice Grip Garage with their one of these the other week, because Derek Berry had a bright... Green one, didn't he? You did. No, I did watch that last Lime night. Lime green, wasn't Lime it? Lime green thing, just in case, so I could learn something about these things. That the battery is located back there. Right. So there's a good battery, and I, and I say this sparingly, it is a good battery. You heard that, right? Yeah, we do occasionally get them. Over there, that I took off a crashed Volkswagen T4 the other day. And I reckon it's about the right size. Oh, okay, the platinum one, yeah? Platinum one, so try chucking that in there. Ooh. Okay. Um, and then... If you want to throw that in that hole, yep. I'll leave. I'll go back over here for fire test right. purposes. Dee 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 dee. dee. Right, so let's go and watch that windscreen wiper blades. blades. I don't think we got any there. <sighs> it doesn't want to fit in the hole, does it? 
I and wouldn't expect it to be a particularly easy thing to get in there. This battery is going to be too. I'm big going to put this, this fully floating door card safely out of the way I somewhere. I think this battery is too big for the hole, mate. Ugh. Can't be. It is. It's about the same size as the one we took out, mate. Yeah. I'll try a different approach and throw it in. For throw it in. Now. I'll put it in one end first and slide it under. End in first. No, no, no. Do you, do you, want, do you want someone a bit less puny? I don't think it's my puniness. I think yeah. it's, it's just way too <laughs> big for the hole. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Go on, go on. <laughs> we got any spare? No. You're probably quite right. We have got a smaller one that's a bit rubbish. <laughs> Damn, that's ruined all the good battery plans. Okay, so we have You have to hold the torch because you can't stick it to anything because everything's plastic. <laughs> right, we've got another choice. Hang on, we've got this one I took out of a Volkswagen yesterday. I have been boiling on it all night. Ah, that's promising. It was out of the wife's chariot because I got all excited and fitted her a new one. Oh, you're spoiling her. Well, you have to treat them well, don't you? She likes it when I buy her batteries. Can't she? Not. Yeah, yeah. She's not one of these flower types, then, is when you buy her a new battery. Flower, flower, flowers. No, she likes batteries. Okay. She might not know it. <laughs> right. Uh, positive, negative. Positive this side. Yeah, no, it's not, because the terminals need to be over here. Just talking out of your bottom. No, I was saying that. Ah, ooh. This side. Uh, ooh, ooh. Does this one fit in the arm? Yes! Snug! That's like a glove. Lost the negative lead. And was Put it underneath the Hold that, hold that there. <laughs> Stupid American things. Doesn't really fit. It sort of fits in the old sideways. Right, I'm going to put you in charge of dopping that on. Yeah. And I'm going to put my head under the bonnet. If I scream, pull it back off again. Okay, All right. Okay. Do you want the torch? Uh. So I'm not going to need it for a moment. Right. Give us some power. Okay. Here we. Oh. Oh, we've got lightage. Well, the winkers are going. We got some blinky blinky. Yeah. Yeah. I'll switch that off a minute because that. Yeah. Is the right, no. on then? Hang on, where's the blink? Is this the blinky? I don't know, unless that's the hazards. Hang on, we'll have to go and have an inspect around the back. Uh, it could be hazards. It's definitely the hazards because the two back winkers are definitely winking. Well, right, I've got to find the hazard switch now. Where's the dukes at? It's there. It's that one. Uh -huh. See, I'm on the Americans, uh, you know. You've watched a lot of the American programmes, haven't right. you? Um, Ah, I was about to say where are the keys, but they're here in the centre console. Mm -hmm. I suppose we ought to bring these, bring these people in here to see this. Show them this. Yeah. So, I shall lean in through here a minute. Right, mate, what you're going to have to try and do is, there's a set of keys there, mm -hmm. and there's another set of keys there. He's hopefully find one, because I'm assuming, does that turn at all? The starty thing, does it need a... Oh no, it doesn't need oh, a key, it. it's, it's worn out. Do you hear that? That's the washer pump going, isn't it? Yeah, it's squirting, profusely squirting washer fluid all over the place. Hang on a minute, we'd better do fire Stereo. testing. Yep, you've got the Sony's, so do you want to ponk the face off of that other end? That's it, that'll shut that up. Right, we've got the washer pump then appears to be... Where is the one? Turn the ignition for fire test. We've definitely got water coming out up here. Where the hell is the... Why are the windscreen squirters jammed on? Anyway, we, have uh, we got lights? Yep. That's windscreen wiper thingy. Right, lights. Um, knock her on the head because we're going to fill up with what squirter fluid. Where is the squirty fluid thing? Is that... That's the... That's the squirter. Z -z -z. Mm, is it? No, that's not. Yeah, it's got the windscreen. Oh, what is it? Turn it on then. I don't know. Is that the back? That could be the back one. Mm. Right, I'm gonna have to try and find that and disable it. I feel it vibrating down here somewhere. Where's my torch gone? 
Yes, torch. It's going to get really, really annoying. There's torch in there. Torchy, torch, torch. We haven't had any fire yet. No, that's good. We don't want fire. We don't really want fire, no. No, it's a lot of plastic. Where on earth is the windscreen wash pump being bolted? Right, do you want me to switch it on a sec so yep. you can hear it? Mm. Right, hang on, off again. I reckon it's down in here somewhere. Oh, hang on. I found the windscreen wash squirty tank. What the bloody hell's that? I mean, immediately it does smell of snail quite nicely of slightly gone off washer fluid underneath there. Ooh. Turn it on again. Mm. Right, off again. Well, we can't see that. Ah, there. Well, I can't see it. Oh. Where's the wire going to that? Can't touch it. Oh, hang on, maybe I can. Oh, Lord. Just turn it on again. Mm. Off again. Right, it's got a blue. We must have pushed something in, did not we? I don't know, there's a couple of switches underneath here that I'm unsure. I mean, we've got a button which I assume is for starty. It's got to be. Is that the, what does that do? That's the cruise control. So which one what, is the squirt? That, that does say windscreen squirt is on it, doesn't it? Mm. I'll turn it on again. Ah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's the obvious uh, place to put a squirty bottle. By wouldn't it? your knee, yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> to turn the ignitions on. Right. Do you have lights? Ignitions is on. We have no lights. We turn. Oh. oh, hang on. Oh, oh. I didn't mean to do that because we got no lights. Uh. Uh, we seem to have an electric cooling fan taking off on the front. She's <laughs> just whirring herself into life at the moment. Oh, let me try another switch. Try the, try the other switch. No. I don't know what this other button does, so I press it. You can try it. I bet it makes the horn go beep. No. Perhaps that's nitrous. Well, we can work on the electric cooling fan by unplugging it down there. Yeah. Um, what you might as well do, seeing as you've done it already, is turn it over and see if there's any description of oil pressure gauge moving, all right? Yeah, it's a, it's a keyless mechanism. Oh, yeah, it's because it's worn out. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Do you want me to try again? So we've got no dash lights. Got no dash lights. I mean, the brake light comes on when I've got it in the start position. Um, so no oil light. Gauge gave a little tweak, but that could be just... Oh, now the battery's gone off. Well, the fan's just cut out on the front. Yeah, no, I've lost battery power. Well, let me just try cranky. Yeah. Nothing. We lost a... All I did was touch this fuse here. I don't think that did anything. What's happened there, then? Oh, well, now the lights have come back on. No, is it something to do with my connections up here? This up? Yes. It must be this then. Right. Crank it again. Okay, let's see if we've got any pressures. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Got yes. oil pressure? We've got oil pressure. Right, that's what we needed to know. Right, I'm going to go and get us a flash cap mm -hmm. and see if we've got any spark. Because we know now we've got oil pressure. Yeah. So we could feed her the onion, well, we could feed her some petroleum and see if anything happens. Mm. Obviously, we're going to need to attend to the rest of it after that. Right, let's go and find a flash thingy. I'll get a plug lead off. We can get a plug lead off. 
So, if I click that on now, we'll see if she's flashing. Turn her over, fudge. Oh, oh, we have got a spark. Beautiful. That's quite, and that was a pretty reasonable flash. Wow. So what we're probably going to have to attend to next, the two fuel lines to the tank are here. Okay. And what we'll do is we get our Parkside pumpy. Th oh, actually, no, we've got Rattler pump, haven't we? Because mm -hmm. we might not have to use the Parkside pump that's not supposed to pump anything but oil, but we use for fuel, even though it said on the box that you weren't supposed to use it for that. Rules were made for braking. Yeah, and we'll go and I'm going to go and sniff test on the tank. Then we might as well try assembling some description of fuel system if what comes out of the tank is an horrible. Does that sound like a reasonably sensible idea? That sounds Remember, you're not supposed to agree with me. You I'm know? not. No, that sounds like a terrible plan, Al. Yeah, because apparently we you get told off for, for agreeing with me all the time. Yeah. That was a stupid me. idea. You should fire me for that. I should fire you for that, yeah. right. Yeah. So get turn the ignition off so it doesn't catch fire. Okay, turn it on, yeah? Uh, turn it off. I was disagreeing. Oh, you disagree with me. Oh, <laughs> right. So I reckon if I set you on finding a rattler fuel pump. Yeah. And then we'll see if there's anything in this tank that we can pump out. Okay. Um, and I'll go and sniff on it. Can, yeah? yeah, what it might be worth doing first, if we assemble an airline and a blowgun, yeah. we'll take the um, fuel cap off after I've had a good sniff. And then, um, and then if we blow back for you this fuel line and see if it goes gurgle at the back or if it's absolutely congealed full of schnod. Because it's got a flow and a return, because there are there is a big pipe and a little pipe up the front here. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming it's similar to that GMC van we did the other week, where it recirculates the leftover fuel back to the tank from the little pump. Or well, the mm -hmm. pump actually isn't very little, because it's quite big, but we have a new one. Nice. That appears to, on a Corvette, appears to be here. Which is a little bit gooey and could do with a wash. But, mm. oh, it smells a bit varnishy. It smells quite a lot varnishy. Well, I reckon we could probably have that out of there. So, do you want to grab an airline and a blowgun, and then we'll go gurgle testing? Okay. To see if we get any gurgly noises at the back of it, and if there's anything in it. Um. Right. Let's go and grab the airline. Yeah, we get some stale petrol vapor in the place. It'll make things oh, much nicer. What you want to do is you want to roll a cigarette up. I could roll a cigarette up, stick me head in here while you waft petrol vapor at me. Yep, yeah, and then you can be told that's a clever idea. But yeah, or that will probably mean death. <laughs> yeah, More, the, lo the lo the lots, of, lots of flames. The <laughs> and I have pulled the radio area up because it looks cool as well. Gurgle testing. Right, so we've got Fudgy at the front with an airline and a blowgun, and have you um, found the, uh, the necessary fuel line? I have. Can you, can you blow air? I have not lit my cigarette intentionally for this moment. Okay. Can you blow air down there Done. gently, and I will see if anything gurgles here. Down the large hole or the small hole? Well, one would assume that the bigger pipe was the one that fed it vast amounts of petrol, so have a go at that one first. We have gurgling. It's gilded. Oh! Does it smell? That's, that's quite minky. <laughs> I just literally got a, got a full fake waft of that. Oh. Can you, would you, do, do you want to blow down the smaller pipe just to check he's free? And then I think we will attempt to pump whatever is in this fuel tank out. Okay, go to the small end. Here we go. Go, oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Right, so now that we've wafted sales petrol vapour all in my eyes, I think we go and find a rattler pump, a drill battery, and a can. Yeah. And we'll rattle whatever's in the tank out. So I'm assuming that that's been in there for 10 years. It'd be interesting to see the colour of it as well, or well, it's it, that pinky, mm, pinky, pinky colour. Pinky, yeah, and we could always, if we get really excited, get the inspection camera and poke it in this hole to see how bad this fuel tank is. Yeah. Right. I'm assuming, it, would it be a metal fuel tank in this, or would it be a plastic one? Well, I'm assuming it's metal. I don't know. It's underneath a car. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay. Well, I thought since you've seen all the videos of... Uh, well, yeah, I have watched a Vice Grip Garage on, in getting, on Derek getting one alive, so I'm probably a wee bit ahead of you. Mm -hmm. I did watch that a few weeks ago before this even appeared. Admittedly, his one is, is snot green, whereas our one 
there's a slightly better orange colour. I, I do actually, I think that the colour suits this. It looks well, it was brown so. originally. Yeah. Have you not looked at the inside of that door? No. It was 80s racing brown. It says that on the trim thingy. Oh, oh. So someone's had it painted orange. It's almost like the same colour brown as the van, isn't it? Yes, well, I mean, it was all the rage back in the day, wasn't it? I mean, do you remember your, your mum and dad having either a pea green maxi, a, a calf ship by moonlight metro in beige, or um, or um, if you were really, really unlucky, a poop brown Allegro? We did have a poopy brown Allegro. Yeah, exactly, and, and if you were really, I mean, my parents had a poop brown bathroom suite because they were all the rage at one time. Mm. It was pretty bad. But that was the set, and apparently all those colours are coming back in now. Really? Yeah, I am considering painting to return the cover truck. Corf, um, Corfu Bianco beige, you know. And then you should get some like, some like, I could get fluffy some, brown. I could get some fluffy brown seat covers and some of them kicking chrome beauty rings and she'll look fucker. To be honest, it's worth the thought because I think it'll look quite cool. So we've got some. We've got some Mercedes racing Dave. Shack pile carpet. Well, Dave, remember we painted Dave's 308D back in its original 1980s racing beige. Yeah. I've got some 1980s racing beige. Oh, it's a classic colour. Anyway, we're waffling now. What we, we really are, need to we do are. is pull our fingers out of our asses and get on and pump the fuel tank. Oh, mm -hmm. It's pushed onto the main fuel line. I want to give you a bit more sight if you want to sit it on the floor. Shall we see if I'll do the two Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Does that look like petrol? Yeah, it looks like a mixture of. Mm. It does look a bit petrol y actually. I don't know, I wouldn't have thought. Or have we stayed on? No, no. I reckon someone must have tried then. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Yeah. Probably run on that. Yeah. We could save some money and freshen up on that with another couple of gallons of proper petrol. I reckon someone, I reckon the tank must have been dry and someone's had a go, and they? I reckon so, that's definitely... Yeah, I'm Christ, I mean, that's been in there 10 years. Yeah, that's not, that's not... That's not 10 year old petrol. No. Oh. Turn that off there a minute, and then we're going to have to attend to fitting a fuel system then, aren't we? Let me just... Oh, let me just drain, drain the petrol over everything. <laughs> it's kind of back right here. <laughs> Oh, no, that was a bad idea because now it's, it's self, so it's self. No, 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 now it's actually got like a venturi effect. It's pulling out on the floor. It's self sighting now because the pipes are long. It's not a good plan. Come here, pack the pipe. Right, so culling plan once man's managed to clear enough space to actually get a bench, because obviously beautifully kept around here sometimes. This is the old fuel pump. This is the new one. They're sort of somewhere near each other. So I need to get these lines off of this one, which I'm sure is going to spew all brown nastiness all over the place. And um, try and make this lot fit that thing. We've got the American Fine Spanners out for this purpose. Will this undo? We might need some squirt, might we? it in a vice this being the most important one because if we break this we won't have another one. Oh no that's good yeah that's working we've got fudgy um, cleaning the full pump mounting face on the side of the block at the front and we're going to try and reinstall this and for once one actually might run a vehicle off its fuel tank rather than a plastic can full of petrol in the front so will that oh yeah that will come off there too so we'll put that in there like that going to need a bigger spanner mm, not that bigger spanner yep that looks like ooh, ooh. will that come out of there Yes. I have to 
get cleaning on that a bit. Right, now I've made that look like new, does that screw in there? No, it doesn't. Oh, we got the first problem. Right, so after half an hour of bending, beating and generally manipulating, because this fitting here that's supposed to go in there to allow that to go out at a right angle, clear the side of an engine, is different. And this fuel pump is that much deeper than the old one. So we decided not to be stupid and use the manky dry rotted old lines and we've used some new ones. So we stand less chance of major flames. So new fuel line on that. Just need to find a new, it's not even the right screwdriver is it? It's not even a, look at them, there it is. And then we need a little piece of line. Get in a second to go back for the return. As you'll see, down in there we are fuel pump installed, fuel lines just pushed on for a minute. We've got the lift, we've got the, um, the filter, if it filters, and then over there we've obviously got the open end of the fuel line. So what we're going to do now is get cranking on this thing and see if it lifts any fuel. Yeah, it's a fudger. Yeah. Crank on the Corvette. Okie cookie, here we go. Whoop. Oh, she's lifting fuel. Squirty, we squirty. have petroleums. Right, so if I attempt to hook this air carburetor back up, because uh, someone's for some strange reason has moved the um, the pickup round. Where is she? Three nine sixteen three quarter three quarter. Be prepared to shut it off if it sounds horrible yeah. or if lots of flames appear, all right? Okay. Because we don't know anything about the condition of this carburetor, basically. We don't know anything about the condition of anything, really, at the moment. Do you want to grab a fire extinguisher just in case? Uh, yes, yeah, let's have fire extinguishers just in case. Because we are sat above a large puddle of fuel. Yeah. Morning. Uh, that's not quality that is. Go on, just crank on it, see if it lifts any, if it pumps the fuel peas out of the carburetor. Okay, here we go. Turn it off! Well, that was a bit too easy, wasn't it? Just a little bit. Right. Let's reposition the camera and we'll, um, we'll try that right, again. Fudge. Crank on it again. Don't rev it. Keep no. an eye on the oil pressure. Yeah. All right. My foot is off the throttle. Here we okay. go. Okay. Hit her up. See what happens. And again. Oh, hang on. I've got a radiator hose touching the pump. Go on. Hit it again. <laughs> oil pressure. Oil pressure. Fuck oh, me, fire. pull the battery terminal quickly. Fire! So I think we have worked out that the alternator is toss. Yeah, she's a flame mage. <laughs> yep, she's definitely on fire. 
That was exciting. <laughs> What's exciting? Exciting. Nothing like your alternator catching fire. <laughs> right, Fudgy. Now we've put the alternator out. Yeah. Try it again. Okay. Here we go. She sounds lovely, doesn't she? Catch fire, so we're assuming that's probably broken, but we put that out and disconnected it. So we are, we're fighting too much smoke that's running right the ball. Not on the head. That is running. What we're going to attend to now, people, so I'll just unplug this airline, which was for alternator putting out if it decided to catch fire again. That sounds lovely. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Not right. Rocky. I'm going to clean the watery hosey things up on the other side mm -hmm. and then um do you want to get some antifreeze yeah are we going for red or blue 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 blue, blue for, this is all steel isn't it it's got steel heads yeah yeah right blue okay so blue if you grab a tub of blue i'll gonna go and clean on those hoses over there yeah put that together and then Chuck it in. then we can fire it up let it run the the i cannot believe that carburetor is as sweet as it is. You've got to love a holly, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, we but didn't even... I haven't even no used a carburetor rejuvenation tool on it. That's got to be a first for 60, isn't I it? I haven't had to hit it. No. It's almost like it that was a bit fake, but it wasn't. No. That was quite impressive. We weren't expecting it to do that, were I we? Wasn't. No, I was I was right. expecting us to put it apart. Hoses. Mm -hmm. We could put the dustbin on top just to check nothing leaps in it. Yep. We yep. also have to make sure that the bonnet closes with that dustbin on because he's a lot thicker than the Elder Brock one. just beat on it and it'll go, won't it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, I'm going to do water hoses, you get antifreeze. Okay. Right, I'm going to freshen on the petrols a bit now. We've removed the big mouse house out the back of it. Have you not noticed that? That's pretty. Oh. Yeah, that was that was in behind the driver. Some stuff in it, but I think it can stay in there. Mhm. Mm right now, I got a big can over here full of petrol. So I think if we um, if we freshen it up a bit, can't hurt it, can it? Yeah. And then um. Let's crack her off and see what she runs like. Well, runs because she should be all right now, coolant wise, shouldn't she? Yeah. She'll keep it running for all of about three minutes. <laughs> Jeremy Cansworth. Do you want us, not that we're going to shut the bonnet, but should we just check, see the bonnet does shut and miss that stonking great dustbin lid air I was filter? thinking that exact same thing. Because I don't think it's going to. Somehow. I don't. Oh, I don't. Oh, you really might. I might. Oh, actually, yeah, there's more room under there than you'd think for. That's fine. Right. Right, Fudgy. Go for it. Let's let her run. Okay. We might even be able to rev it a bit once it's warmed up. I haven't got oily fingerprints on it down there, but <laughs> go for it. Okay. All right, everything's digging boots. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa!
that warm up, don't we? I think so. Just squidgy on the brake pedal a minute, see if we get any brakes come back. Choke's off. Choke was off. That's vacuum dropping it, wasn't it? Yeah. Nothing. Oil pressure temperatures. Right, oil pressure is good. Temperature is not good. What about the oils? Yeah, he's running. 60? He's actually reading 40 on this. 40. Now he's reading less. Put the handbrake. Right, pull the handbrake on. Just kick it into drive, but don't rev it. Should I put my foot down on the normal brake as well? Yeah, if he's doing anything. Get ready to knock it back out of drive. I think reverse will be the first. Let's see if it's got drive. Oh, it has, isn't it? That's reverse. Neutral. We've got drive. Creep the full. I mean, he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to pull now. Whoa! He's, he's trying to pull. He's trying forward. to pull. Right, let's just let her run, run through, warm up, put it back in park. Right. Right, so we're going to go for a bit of a tour of the big orange beast. So, I think, think this car originally was brown. So, those turbo vane alley wheels as far as i know now it has been quickly steamed off but you can see it's been sat they managed to wash it all off it's been sat growing in a barn it's a glass roof t-top one um as you can see you sort of lift things like this up and you can see that she's been growing a while we've got Gouge and gack all in around the window rubbers. I mean, literally, I reckon she was given a quick hosing off, and that's about it. Um, inside wise, we've got a dead winder motor on the passenger side, but there is one in a box over there, and the door card is here. Um, and it's in pretty good nick for its age, obviously. Ready brown leather interior. We, um, we've got some mouse stuff, we've rooped half of it going on back, back here. I've got a bit of, bit of mouse houseage, we've taken the main of it out. Um, but the seats are nice, the roof's not bad. Oh! Door cards, door panels, I don't even know how many miles it's done to be honest. We are showing 14,000 miles, so we'll assume that's 114,000 miles. But body wise, it's in really nice nick, via being a bit orange. Well, can you get a 1981 Chevrolet Corvette C3, possibly? Don't know. I think it's a C3. Yeah. To start after being left in a shed since for the last 10 years unstarted. Yes, you can. Yeah. Didn't even have to dismantle the carburetor. I mean, it was a bit too easy, let's be honest. It, it don't was you? Really, really easy, but... Well, apart from the fact that half the fuel system didn't fit, the cooling system doesn't really work, and it needs a load of electrical attention, and the alternator caught fire. Yes. Yes. Flamage. Might, flamage might need. Luckily enough, that didn't get any worse. No. So it moves. We know that, but it doesn't have any brakes. So we're going to have to attend to a few, a few things. But... Ta-da! Look at that for orange. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Al. Fudge. 60 diesels. Mm -hmm.